everybody. My name is Kim O'Rourke. I'm the recycling coordinator for the city of Middletown, and happy America Recycles Day. America Recycles Day is always on November 15th, and I thought now might be a good time to do a refresher on what is recyclable in city buildings. So first of all, let's step back for a minute and talk about why recycling is important. It is important for many reasons, but uh, first of all, we want to talk about trash. So trash doesn't just disappear. We need facilities to bring it to, the, it's expensive to get rid of, we need space for those facilities. There's a lot of discussion in the state and actually across the country these days about what to do with our trash because we're generating so much of it. So the uh, landfills or the incinerators that we use generate greenhouse gas emissions. They cause water and air pollution, and not to mention the natural resources that are used to make the products that we consume. So uh, reducing waste is best. It's always better. Reduce, reuse, repair, and then recycle. So recycling is really the last thing we want to do um, before disposing it. Uh, quality of recyclables is very important. We want to make sure what we're recycling is acceptable and it's clean and it's dry. And we also don't want to just wish that it's recyclable. Recycling is a whole complex um, a, a program. We need people to buy recycled materials in order for items to be recycled. They have to go into something new. So just because you wish that it was recycled doesn't mean it's acceptable in the program. So pay attention to what actually goes in the recycling bin, and I'm going to go through those items today. So the items that definitely go in your recycling bin at City Hall or any city buildings would be, I guess we'll start with glass bottles. They get hopefully turn into new glass bottles, although there's, I could do a whole video on glass recycling. But glass, uh, they should be empty. The caps can stay on. Same with metal cans. They um, go in the recycling, should be empty. You can also take them back for the nickel deposit, um, which actually is a better way to recycle because it produces a cleaner material. Uh, the plastic bottles. So these uh, also go in the recycling. The cap can stay on. Better than using one of these, though, use one of these. It's, uh, these are, are pretty wasteful and expensive, and you can just carry around a reusable water bottle to where you want. Um, one, uh, juice boxes, if anybody's drinking juice boxes in city buildings, they are recyclable. You've got to remove the straw. And any boxes, so paperboard boxes like these are recyclable. They are acceptable in the recycling. They can go right in with the um, bottles, cans, and paper. So uh, they should be empty, though. Um, also, if we're going towards the paper end of things, uh, uh, envelopes with windows are OK. Of course, any kind of paper, it can be glossy, it can be colored, it can be magazines. I do hear that we find some magazines in the trash, so please put them in the recycling. And uh, brown paper bags can be recycled. So if, if they're empty and they have no food on them, then uh, they can go in the recycling. If you get takeout, the aluminum um, pie, the tins here can go in the recycling. However, they can't have food on them. So please take them down to the kitchen, rinse them out, and then you can put them in with the recycling. And the same for this type of uh, clamshell plastic container. If it's clear, plastic, um, no food in it, it can go in the recycling. Uh, coffee cups, we generate a lot of coffee cups uh, in City Hall, I know, when we did a waste audit. Again, try to use a reusable coffee cup, but um, if you can't, we do take these clear plastic ones uh, with the recycling, although it's best to remove the lid and remove the straw, so just the cup. The one type of paper we don't take, well, besides store receipts, we don't take store receipts, I just did that. Um, actually, no. This, so this, this might be confusing, but this is really important. Um, this is a, the paper that comes on a ream of paper. 
and this is dull. It's um, it, it's just paper. So this can be recycled. However, these, which are fairly new that I've seen coming in, cannot be recycled. And the thing with this is there's a thin layer of plastic on it, which is really annoying to me. But it um, so it, it makes it really confusing. But this comes on virgin copy paper, and it cannot be recycled. So these should go in the trash. Uh, honestly, if you can buy the recycled paper, please buy recycled paper for your office. Uh, the purchasing does have it on their um, on their their bid sheet. It is a tiny bit more expensive, but by uh, being cognizant of your paper use and maybe expanding margins, double siding, you can actually reduce the amount of paper you use and use recycled paper, which really goes a long way. Uh, but if you do get these types of uh, paper covers, it goes in the trash. So let's go over to um, our side of items that are, is not acceptable in the recycling. And the, these are really important because any contamination that's in our recycling, we get charged for. And, uh, and it can ruin the whole load. So let's not do that. So takeout containers, except for the ones I mentioned, most of them go in the trash. So this is a paper one, but it has a plastic lining in it. It has aluminum on it. That goes in the trash. The compostable containers go in the trash. We can't compost them here. Black plastic goes in the trash. Um, when it comes to coffee cups, if you can't use your reusable coffee cup, goes in the trash. Paper, paper cups and styrofoam cups, which I don't have. Well, I have this one. So there's two containers. Styrofoam goes in the trash. We cannot recycle it. Regular block styrofoam goes in the trash. Paper plates go in the trash. Silverware or plastic silverware, which really one thing that we could all do is bring in your own reusable silverware and have it handy for your lunches. If you get takeout, tell them not to give you the utensils because you can just use your own. Um, if you use the little coffee pods, these are not recyclable. They're too small and they fall through the system and they just contaminate the loads. So better than these is to use the reusable pods. And um, these are really simple. They work with most coffee makers that use these. And you just put your, a scoop of coffee in. It saves you a lot of money. And you just have to rinse it out when you're done. Super easy. Or if you have a bigger, a bigger coffee uh, pot, you can use the reusable filter for those. Other small items not to recycle are candy wrappers, um, small pieces of paper, and um, hmm, coffee stirrers. So really the rule is anything under two inches will fall through the screens at the facility. So anything small should not go in the recycling, as well as shredded paper, although uh, most of us have paper shredders and they get handled. That paper gets handled separately. Um, gloves don't go in the recycling. They, they go in the trash. And please make sure when you put them in the trash that they're securely in the trash. Because a lot of times I see gloves on top of trash cans and they blow out. And that's part of the reason why we have such a problem in our oceans now with the gloves blowing out. Um, also, uh, plastic film. So snack bags or any kind of plastic bag does not belong in the recycling. They, you could, if it's clean, you can bring it to City Hall. We have an area for it at the end of the second floor. Or you can bring it back to Price Chopper in their uh, bottle redemption room. They will take plastic film for recycling. It has to be clean and dry for them to recycle it. So those are, um, I think I went over the basics of what goes in the recycling bin, what stays out of the recycling bin. Um, what I'd like to do now is if you, if I'm going to wrap it up, wish you a happy uh, America Recycles Day again. 
but if you did stick with me through the end of this video, please send me an email and let me know what you learned. And if you didn't learn anything, uh, let me know what you would have liked to learn. And, um, or if you have a question on anything, just send me a, an email and let me know. And if you do that, you're going to be entered into a raffle for a food waste scrap bucket to help you compost. And this is actually full of some pretty uh, cool recycled products. This is in high demand. This is recycled toilet paper. Uh, and, but also some other um, products that are inside of this. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. And happy America Recycles Day.